the corn husk doll. We, the Haudenosaunee people, respect what we call the sustainers of life. The three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. Honesty was a head done on a wizard. Of the three sisters, the corn spirit was so thrilled to be one of the sustainers of life that she asked the great spirit if there was anything more she could do for her people. The great spirit told her that a doll could be formed from her husk. She made the doll from her husk and gave that doll a beautiful face. Then the doll went from village to village and played with all the children. Everywhere the doll went, everyone kept telling her how beautiful she was. So it wasn't long before she became conceited. The Great Spirit called for her, but before she went into the Great Spirit's lodge, she looked at herself in a pool of water to admire herself. The Great Spirit talked to her and he told her that she shouldn't carry on thinking that she was better than anyone else, or that a great punishment would come upon her, but he wouldn't tell her what that would be. No sooner did she leave the lodge and return to play with the children, that again she was told how beautiful she was, and she became very smug and conceited once again, thinking that she was prettier than everyone else. Again the Great Spirit called to the Cornhus doll to come to his lodge. When she arrived, once again she stopped by the pool in front of his lodge to admire her beauty in the reflection of the water. With the Great Spirit's words echoing in her head, a great punishment now must come upon you. As she looked at her reflection, a great horned owl came down and scooped up her face out of the reflection in the water. The Great Spirit had taken the Cornhus doll's face away for being conceited and vain. And to this day, the Cornhus doll is still made faceless as toys for children, as decoration, and as a reminder to our people to never put yourself above anyone else and to stay humble. Otherwise, we may too still suffer a great punishment. Toe.